a tremendous amount of good things in this world have started with naivety. The average age of the NASA employee that put us on the moon decades ago was the age of 26, and they simply didn't know that it couldn't be done. We can reimagine everything so that we can imagine a world that's very, very different than the one that we've inherited. And I think oftentimes in our own careers, we start out very simple because we don't know that much and we're quite naive again. And then over time, we can begin to build this database of knowledge in our minds, and then we become known as the expert in a certain area. And we want to convey our expertise. I made the mistake at some point in my career as the organization was growing, uh, becoming more complex. I wanted to match complexity with complexity. It ultimately doesn't serve society. I've been working on the migrant slum issue for nine years now, and obviously leading a lot of different teams in that process. And when you ask me about lessons, a lot of it comes back to people and how we interact. This aspect of managing your team's energy, because the very time when you have the least energy is likely the time that you most need, or your team most needs you to manage their energy. We've been told most of our lives that uh, life is a marathon, not a sprint. And I've come to believe uh, over the last few years that's entirely wrong. The best life lived is a life that is a series of sprints. And so you have this uh, this rhythm and this cadence that you introduce into your life where you have the ebb and flow where you, you stress yourself, you, you provide the stress and then you renew. And if we can capture that somehow with our own rhythm, uh, it sustains us and it really grows us.